Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Wendy. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. And you? I'm fine. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. How are How's you? How's it going? Ah, I feel so good. And you? Ah, very good, Eric. Why do you feel good? What happened? I don't know. I feel so good. And that's it. <laughs> okay. Good. And you, Wendy? More or less. More or less. No, not too good. No. <laughs> no. Not, not bad. You feel sick, Wendy? No, I, I don't. Not. Uh, I don't say. Pasándola. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah. yeah yes. Just the normal, huh? Just going little by little. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. New teacher, how's it going? Ah, I'm doing good. I have, you know, I it's Monday. I like I like Mondays. For me, Mondays are very nice, and I go back to my routine. I have the activity, so it's good. I like. Mm -hmm. So you don't like uh, the weekends? Oh no, I like the weekends, but I like Mondays too. So for me, it's always, I think the problem is that you need to change your mentality to have a good time. Like, for example, if you don't like work, then every Monday you hate Mondays. But if you yes. like your job, it's not a problem. I like my I family. Hate. So every Saturday, I like Saturdays because every Saturday I spend with my family. The important is for me is that every day you need to like that way, always you have a positive mentality. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I well, I oh, hate some. at some at some days because maybe I I feel not I feel bad or 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 horrible, terrible. I don't know. I'm weird. <laughs> I'm weird. Uh, okay. So, how was your weekend? Wendy, how was your weekend? Very busy. Oh, why? What happened, Wendy? Um, care, care, my family. Oh, okay. I don't remember. Um, ¿Cómo se dice? Cuidando. It's in the chat. Take care, my mm -hmm. family. Care. Okay. Continue to seek. I guess I was going to ask. They are sick. They, they are still mm -hmm. sick, right? Yes. Yes. This is a difficult when they are sick. Yes. But three you, persons. Three people. Uh, people. Yes. Mm -hmm. People. Personal. It's, mm -hmm. it's bad. And you, Wendy? How do you no, feel? I, I, uh, ya pasé. I passed. Mm -hmm. Me, I pa I passed for my family now. Mm -hmm. So now only you have to wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. This is excellent that we are talking about the weekend because today's topic is the simple past. The idea is the simple past. We have in the simple past, we have ed endings do you remember how are the ed endings in the simple past yes hi chrisia excellent what are again, the, what are the again, three again. endings that we have for the regular verbs oh. 
ed ed okay okay so in the simple past we have three endings we have id we have t, t, the t sound and d d d d sound these are our simple past and we each one is different and has different rules depend the situation it depend the word is how we pronounce first we're going to see the video to have an idea we're going to have an idea of how it is okay let's see These verbs end in t. Work. Past verbs. The ed ending of simple past verbs has three different sounds. Let's listen and practice. These verbs end in t. Worked. Watched. These verbs end in d. Cleaned. Stayed. These verbs end in id. Invited. Visited. In order to understand when we'll have a T, D, or id sound, we need to understand a couple of concepts. Voiceless and voice sound. So let me explain that. I would like for you to pay attention to my throat and my fingers. I'm going to put two fingers on my throat, particularly on my Adam's apple. I would like for you to do the same as well. Now, I would like for you to repeat after me. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Watch, turn. Whenever we pronounce the verb watch, there is no vibration on our Adam's apple. This is called a voiceless sound. However, whenever we pronounce the verb turn, there is lots of vibration on my Adam's apple. This is called a voice sound. Now let's try to understand the it sound. We will pronounce it whenever we have verbs that have a T and a D sound. For example. Okay. I'm going to help you. Do you have your cell phones? Did you see the WhatsApp? Look in your cell phones. Check the WhatsApp. Yeah, teacher, you sent a somber. Okay, this is the rule. If the word finish, if the word finish with T or D, for example, invite, visit. If the word finish with T or D, we pronounce id, invited, visited. Or like in the WhatsApp, you see, want, need. Finish with T, finish with D. Ah, we pronounce id, wanted, needed. Okay, this is one. If the word finish with those sounds, those ch, s, ch, s, p, the, those sounds in the voiceless, then the word finish with T. With T, for example, we see the word... Like in the in the example here, we have the word work. So we finish with t, worked, worked. Okay. And the same washed. Yes, because the watch, the normal, the original word finish with ch, ch. Yep. And with all of those sounds, okay. Uh, the way that I think is like this: Las, los sonidos que terminan como de culebra, de culebra, de ch. 
Todas esas palabras que terminan así, pronuncian con For example, the washed, the wa uh, laughed, kissed, fixed, okay? And all of the others, everything else, only pronounced with D. Called, cleaned, stayed, offered, all of the other words, you finish with D. So, so? Yes, also. Okay, so the ones that pronounce with T, this T, this is the voiceless. This is the voiceless. Here, no, no vibration, no, d -d 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 no vibration. It's only no, no vibration. But the ones with D, clean, yes, vibration. Stay uh, is vibration. Notes. That's why they pronounce with D. And the others, if finish with T or finish with D, then we pronounce id, like invited and visited. Okay, let's watch the rest of the video. Visit has a T sound. So we pronounce the past as visited. Len has the sound. So we pronounce the past as landed. Let me show you more examples of words that are voiceless and voice to help you understand this topic better. Another method to use is following this particular sounds. These sounds are voiceless. P, K, S, H, C, H, G, H, T, H, S, S, C, X. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Helped looked, watched, watched, laughed, breathed, kissed, danced, fixed. The following consonants have voice sound. L, N, R, G, V, S, W, Y, Z. Let's pronounce these words now. I would like for you to repeat them after me. Called, cleaned, offered, damaged, loved, used, followed, enjoyed, amazed. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to pronounce all of these verbs. And then record yourself using the website bookaroo.com. After you finish this activity, share the link of the recording on our discussion forums. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We are going to practice it. Then we're going to try webbookaroo.com. Okay, so remember, okay, web, what is it? Uh, Okay. That's it. You're going to go here. You're going to practice the pronunciation. As landed for you to repeat them after me. This one, you're going to practice pronouncing. You're going to record. And when you are finished, they give you the link. And the link you put here, like the examples of these two that are there. This we are not going to do today, but this is for the homework. That way you practice. In this moment, only we are going to practice the pronunciation of the words to make sure that it is clear. Okay. Are you ready? So I will, I, sorry, I'm going to the link. 
Mm -hmm. That you gave me, that you will gave, that you oh, no. will, that you will give me. So, and and then. No, no. You are going to go to the link. That you are going to go to the uh, web right here. Is webbocaru.com. You are going to go there, and you are going to record. You are going to record the pronunciation. For example, wanted, needed, help. And then when you finish the recording, you put, you copy and paste here. Okay. Okay. In this moment, we practice the pronunciation to make sure that it's clear, to make sure that you have the correct pronunciation. Okay. Everybody's ready? Yes, ready. Yes, okay. I am ready. All right. Let's practice the past, the past tense. All right. Wanted. Needed. Needed. Mm -hmm. Needed. Helped. Helped. Good. Looked. Look, looked. Washed. What? Washed. What? Washed. Watched. What? Watched. 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 Good. Laughed. 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 Breathed. 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 Kissed. 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 Danced. 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 Fixed. 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 Okay, good. Very good. All of these pronounce the same. The T, always the same T. -t, -t. Okay, now we're going to pronounce D. D. Called. 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 Cleaned. Called. Cleaned. Offered. 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 Mm -hmm. Damaged. 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 Loved. 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 Used. 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 Followed. 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 Remember, it has to finish the same. Followed. 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 Good. Enjoyed. 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 Amazed. 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 Okay, good. All right. Let me give you a tip, a little tip. Okay. Si todas no, no terminan lo mismo, Algo está haciendo mal, porque en la columna todos tienen que terminar su lengua en la misma posición. Entonces, hay veces que uno se encuentra y uno dice, ah, ok, lo dije bien, pero no quedó la lengua lo mismo que en la primera. Por ejemplo, a veces dice uno, fix, y al principio dice, helped. Ah, pero no terminó la lengua. Pero yo escucho lo mismo, pero no es lo mismo. Tiene que terminar lo mismo, fix. Helped. All the same. The same here. Así como decimos al principio, called, así vamos a decir, loved, y así vamos a finalizar, amazed. D. Si no terminamos la lengua en la misma posición, d, 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 significa que algo hicimos mal. ¿Ok? ¿Y por qué? Porque ese significa que ese sonido es físico. Físicamente, para lograr el sonido, tiene que terminar la lengua en esa posición. Si no, lo que están haciendo es diciendo la palabra en presente y no en el pasado. Ok. Ok. okay. ¿Hay, hey. alguna, ¿Hay alguna palabra que quiere que repita o alguna que le costó? Any, any words you want me to repeat? Yeah, teacher. Of. Offered, uh, no. The uh, letter R. Little R. R. 
Yeah, here, right here. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Is offered. 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 Good, with D. Good, good, good. Offered. And that much? Good. With strong, the same, the same way we finished called the, the, damage. the same damage. The, damage. Correct. Damage. 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 Okay. 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 So remember, what are you going to do? You're going to record and put the link here for the recording to hear the recordings. Okay. Now we continue. We're going to continue using the simple past. Now is with irregular verbs. Do you remember irregular verbs? Yes. Yes, excellent. Yes. What are, okay. So irregular verbs is they change the writing. Okay. That's why they are different. Many times we change the writing. Let's look at some examples of positive and negative irregular verbs. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs. Let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these charts, you can see a few examples. If you notice... Okay, so he explains a little bit slow, but the idea is in positive only is the verb in past tense. In negative is the auxiliary didn't and the verb in present tense. Positive, the verb in past tense. Negative, the verb in present tense. Always with the word didn't for all the people. I, you, he, she, it. These are the all with didn't. For the negative. Okay. So we use the subject, the verb in the past, and the complement. Here are some of the irregular verbs. For example, do, did, get up, got up, go, went, meet, met, come, came. Have, had, sorry, go back a little bit there. Those are the ones that are irregular. So in the positive, you use here, the verbs on the right. In negative, we use didn't and the verbs in the present. It's okay? Okay. Yes. Yes? Okay. So we're going to yes. practice with our verbs. What are the irregular verbs that we have? Here, whoops, sorry. Here we have some of the list, okay? Let me put those in the chat, so in the WhatsApp. That way you can have the picture in the WhatsApp also. 
Okay. So now with your partner, you're going to use positive and negative to talk about Saturday and Sunday. So imagine Jocelyn is my partner. So with Jocelyn, I say do and did. Okay. Jocelyn, I didn't do my homework on Sunday. I did my homework on Saturday. As an example, positive and negative. One positive or negative for do, get up, go, meet, come, and have. So we're going to make six sentences in positive and make six sentences in negative. So in total, how many sentences? Twelve sentences. Excellent. In total, 12 sentences. In total, 12 sentences. Any questions? So we are going to make uh, 12 sentences. Correct. Six oh, cool. positive, six negatives. Oh, cool. Okay. You... You sent the the picture, right? Yes, it's in the chat in the web in the WhatsApp. Ah, okay. Okay, let's go with our partners. Twelve sentences total. Eduardo, Ernesto, do you have problems connecting to the groups? Eduardo, any, any problems? Okay, Ward, I'm going to move your partner. I think you have some technical problems. Okay, Eduardo, no problem.
Okay, Wendy, give me one example in positive. In positive? Yes. Maria went to the park. Excellent. Crisia, one example in negative. Uh, I didn't cook the dinner today. Good. I didn't cook dinner, not the dinner. Cook. I didn't cook okay. dinner. Dinner, dinner. Good. Adela, give me one example negative. Um, my mother didn't do the laundry. Correct, good. Ana Beatriz, example in positive. I did cook dinner the last Saturday. No, is I cooked. I cooked I dinner last Saturday. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Remember, did only in negative, only in negative in the okay. past tense. Okay. If it's an auxiliary. Okay. All right. Gustavo, give me an example positive. I got up early yesterday. Good. Good. Elmer, negative. I didn't go to the movie theater. Excellent. Good. Claudia, negative. I didn't went to the beach on week. No, Claudia, no. Alexander, correct, Claudia. Okay, no, Alexander. Vanessa, help Claudia. Vanessa Carolina. Hi, teacher. Ah, hey, Alex. Okay, Alexander. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Help Claudia. I, what is the correct way? Uh, it's mid, there. Okay. Mid. Correct. Because the verb in present, not the verb in past. I didn't meet. I didn't it's meet. Fine. Okay. Uh, my example is I didn't meet my parent last week. Okay. I didn't meet, correct. The verb in present in negative, good. Vanessa, give me an example in negative. In negative. In yes, in negative. I, I didn't go to the 
Sure, 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 every day. So, so, good. I didn't go to church every day. Not that, day. not that. I didn't go to church every day. Every day. Okay, good. Paola, give me an example in positive. <coughs> I, I, I meet, uh, pardon, I meet with my family on Sunday. Mm, no, no, I meet, no, I meet. Jocelyn, help Paola. Wait, Pete, Paola, please. Okay. I meet with my family on Sunday. The verse is incorrect. I think Crisia, Crisia wants to help. Go ahead, Crisia. I met my family on sunday correct yes is the verb in past i met i meet this present i meet this present i met i met correct met. met okay okay eric give me one example in negative negative yes um i did a go to the pool yesterday correct very good that's it Okay, so remember the important is in negative and use the verb in present. I didn't, she didn't, we didn't, and the verb in present go, eat, play. But in, in positive, we use the verb in past. Now we're going to learn how to make questions in the past tense. How do we make the questions that are simple? Past, yes, no questions. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer simple past, yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes, we loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses, and we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow, did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark a good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by
by saying yes I did or negatively by saying no I didn't. In our example we can see that the question was answered positively yes I did then extra information is given I had a great summer notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turned into had let's analyze one more question I'll choose the last one on this chart did Erica and her sister go to Colorado first we will add the auxiliary did next we need to include the subject the important here is we understand how we make the questions. If we look, always we begin the questions with did, okay? And then the subject, okay? One person, two, three, whatever. Is did, did you, did he, did they, did Eric and her sister? And then the verb, the verb is in present because always we use did, we use the verb in present. We use didn't in the answer, we use the verb in present. But always when we use the auxiliary did, we put the, the verb in present. And then only the answers are yes, they did, no, they didn't. If you see it or if you saw in the conversation, it's normal that we have a long answer. For example, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. But you continue the answer. My sister and I went to Arizona. No, is not correct. Oh, yes, I did. And finish the conversation is, yes, I did. I love that. I enjoy. I, and then more information. Okay. It's okay how to make the questions in past. Okay. We're going to practice a little bit first. Look as an example, I put in the chat. Okay. So. I'm going to ask my partner, did you, and then the verb, okay? And then we can put the time, for example, and hang on. Let me put an example. That is going to be the structure we're going to practice, okay? And this is an example. Did you cook pizza on Saturday? You can see in the chat if you are looking, okay? Did you go ah, to the beach, for example? Did you go to the beach on Sunday? Okay. And the answers can be, yes, I did, right? Or we can have the answers, no, I didn't. Any questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay. In the chat, in the chat, put two questions. Two questions in the chat. Right, right, two questions in the chat. Okay, did you eat pasta in the last weekend? Okay, good, Elmer. But remember, not the last weekend. Did you eat pasta last weekend? Last weekend. Okay, did you visit your parents all weekend? Good, Eric. Did you play video games on Mondays? No S, no S, Gustavo, for Mondays. Did you, only did you play video games on Monday? Did you dance on the party last night? Good, Wendy. Only did you dance at, at the party last night? 
Good, Wendy. Mm -hmm. Did you play soccer on Sunday? Good, Claudia. Did you watch TV? Remember, Alex, not the last night. Did you watch TV? Last night. Last night. Did you play soccer yesterday? Good, Eric. Did you go to the science on Sunday? Paola, what is science? Ciencia. Fuiste a la ciencia el domingo. Uh, como materia. Ah, did you study? Did you study science on Sunday? Yes. Yes, yes, correct. Then it's correct, Paola. Very good. Yes, it's correct. Okay. Jocelyn, did you go to the park on Sunday? Very good. Okay. Ah, now you see we have lots of questions. Lots of questions. Now we're going to practice asking and answering in speaking with our partners. So with our partners, we're going to practice asking and answering. There are some examples in the chat, how to make the questions, okay? It's okay? And how do we answer? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Oh, did. teacher, I, yes, didn't, I didn't understand you. Okay, Eric. So for example, Eric, if you see the chat, we have many questions. For example, yeah. Eric, did you drink beer on Sunday? This is the question from Alex. This is the question from Alex. No, I didn't. I That's drink, mm -hmm. I drink just. So, 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 so. No, I didn't. And verb in past. I drank. I drank. Exactly. I drank. I, I drank just. Exactly. That is the correct way. Okay. Okay. It's okay? Okay. Yeah, teacher, it's okay. Okay, now let's practice. We are going to practice five questions and five answers to our partner. Five questions and five answers. Long answer. Yes, long okay. answers. Good question, Eric. Yes, no, is not correct. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, long answer. Explain. Five. Okay. And, okay, five and five.
Okay. Any questions? Yes. Okay, Wendy. And uh, okay. En, si yo contesto, usted, usted mencionó que el verbo en la respuesta larga tenía que ser en negativo. Perdón, en pasado. Correct. La pregunta es la siguiente. Uh -huh. Por, vamos a poner el ejemplo práctico para, para ver si lo entendí. Okay. Si yo digo, did you dance at the party last night? Y digo las dos respuestas. Una sería, yes, I did. Y hasta ahí llega. No tengo que dar más explicación. Eh, debería debería acostumbrarte a dar una respuesta larga porque en inglés eso es bien cortante bien rudo cuando vos decís sí es como okay. para nosotros decir sí. eh, eh, el, el yes I did aunque suena largo para nosotros es, es como para el sí para sí. ellos punto uh -huh. final ajá Exacto. ¿Qué le ten, qué, o sea como que le podría agregar entonces ahí es donde tengo que utilizar si contesto que sí tengo que utilizar el verbo el dance en, el dance Correcto. El pasado. El pasado. Por ejemplo. Y si digo, no, I didn't, I dance all the night. O sea, por ejemplo, sí, ahí el verbo sí sería en, en presente. No. Entonces, te voy a dar ya el... dije, no, I didn't. Ok, te voy a dar ejemplo para los dos. Digamos ok, sí, please. Sí, de... entonces, Wendy, si me preguntas, did you dance on, sun, on Saturday? Ok, te mm -hmm. voy a contestar, yes, I did. I danced with my brother. I danced with my husband. I danced ah. at a party. I danced with my friends. I danced to uh, cumbia. I danced, oof, y ahí un montón. Mm -hmm, okay. mm -hmm. Ahora vamos con el negativo. Wendy, did you dance on Sunday? Te digo, no, I didn't. I didn't dance uh, on Sunday because I don't like to dance. Or I didn't dance with anyone. Or, I, y ahí las dos formas puede ser la positiva o la negativa pero siempre debes de dar un poco más de explicación no solo sí, no ok, thank you la parte de los, de los verbos en pasado y presente o sea que ya lo habíamos visto hace un ratito o sea, pero creí que por esa respuesta no se iban a utilizar de la, con la misma regla esa es la duda que tenía ok, la regla es que siempre que usas el auxiliar did sea pregunta, sea respuesta, pero si usas el auxiliar did, automáticamente el verbo te va a ir en presente. El didn't, pero, pero en negativo, ¿verdad? No importa si sea didn't o did. El momento que se utiliza did en positivo o negativo, el verbo va en presente. Por eso es que cuando hacemos la pregunta, did you, usamos el verbo en presente. Did you go? Did you see? Uh -huh. Porque usamos did. En la respuesta, I didn't. Ah. Ya va a ir el verbo en presente. Siempre que sea el auxiliar did, presente, eh, 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 did, positivo o negativo, el verbo va a ir en presente. Teacher. Yes, Christian. But for example, uh, the other question. For example, did you, did you buy a car? Okay. No, I, no, I didn't. I bought a motorcycle. Pero ahí sí. Ahí sí, okay. exacto. Ok. Ahí, mm -hmm. Sí, no, no es obligación continuar en negativo. Por ejemplo, okay. si no hiciste eso, hiciste otra cosa exactamente. Por ejemplo, como mm -hmm. Wendy eh, dijo, did you dance on Sunday? No, I didn't. Y Wendy puede decir que otra cosa, yo fui a una fiesta o yo fui a la iglesia o yo, ella puede decir otra cosa. I went to the party. Así como Crisia, did you buy a car? No, I didn't. I bought a motorcycle. Porque la idea de la respuesta corta es responder lo que di dicen. La idea de agregarle la información es corregir si la información está mal o dar más detalles sobre la respuesta. Por eso es dar la respuesta larga. Ok. Uh -huh. Teacher, eh, en otro ejemplo sería, did you drink coffee today? Yes, I did. I drank a delicious coffee. Excelente, Paola. Solo que no vas a usar la palabra drunk, vas a usar drank con A. Drunk. Drank. Drunk es, es el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Sí, ese es uno, ese es el pasado participio y el otro es bolo. Drunk. Entonces, y si le respondiera en negativo, en negativo sería. I drinks. Por, no, por ejemplo, I say, Did you drink coffee today? No, I didn't. 
I didn't drink coffee or I, I didn't, uh, uh, puede ponerlo, no, I didn't. I drank water. It's correct. No, I didn't. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't drink milk. No, no, el din, no. Porque ya dijiste, no. ya solo vas a ir el verbo, el verbo normal. No, I didn't. I drank milk. I drank milk. Drank milk. Okay. Pao, Paula, fíjate en el chat. Te voy a poner algo para que te acuerdes. Did, ok, es en preguntas. Lo usamos cuando usas la palabra did, es porque la vas a usar en preguntas. Si vas a usar didn't, ok, lo vas a usar en respuestas negativas. Ok. Negative. Te lo voy a poner ahí. Negative. Answers. Así no te vayas a confundir. El did no, normalmente se usa en preguntas y el didn't normalmente se usa en respuestas negativas. No es normal usar did en respuestas eh, y no es normal usar didn't en preguntas. Ok, teacher. Ok. Teacher, the pronunciation drink, el, el, eh, the past, eh, the, drink. the simple past is drunk. Drank. No. Drank. Drank. Uh -huh. Y de, eh, de participle es que ahí me confundo. Drunk. Es drunk. drunk. Ah, ok. Drank. Correct. Drank. Uh -huh. and, the, and the participle, drunk. Drunk. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. No se preocupen, es la introducción, cómo hacer preguntas en el pasado, hay cómo usar los verbos irregulares en el pasado y respuestas cortas. Mañana lo vamos a tener que practicar nuevamente oralmente y escribirlo, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Pero no, sure. se, no se vayan con alguna duda, no se vayan con la duda. ¿Hay alguien que tenga alguna pregunta o algo que no les quedó claro? Aquí tenemos a Wendy, ella puede contestar cualquier cosa. Tranquilo, pregunten. All clear, teacher. All clear. Pregunten sin pena. Ahí, ahí está Edela, ella está ya está dispuesta, ya lista, ya lista para contestar. Vaya, pues Wendy, Adela, ya ve. Perfecto, tranquila, buena explicación, chicas. Pasen buenas noches. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.